Remember when banks talk like that? It's that they know of so far. They can't really define all of the fraud potentially going on. Just keep in a watchful eye on your money. Okay, now, do you remember this moment when the 2020 Democrats raised their hands in the first debate saying, yes, we will support health care coverage for illegal immigrants? Now, CNN changed the rule. No more raise your hand questions. President Trump quipped at the end of that, when that happened at that debate, at that debate he said that's the end of the race. Let's bring in GDP Advisors president and co-founder of uh, that company. He's healthcare expert Seth Denson. Uh, you know, that was a big thing that moment. What was your take when you saw that? Well, I was shaking my head, and I don't know that I, I tweeted out anything like the president did, but I sure thought to myself, uh, these Democrats on stage are running like they're running for the 14th Congressional District in New York, not for the United States of America. You know, NPR Marist did a poll saying the majority of Americans don't want that. We're digging into more polls saying from Kaiser and, and, and more saying, you know what, across the board, Americans don't want what the 2020 Democrats are selling. We're going to get into those polls in just a moment. I want this to, to get into this. Obama Democrat, Rahm Emanuel, we're going to talk about this again. He warned 2020 Democrats, Seth, and not bad. There's a reason Trump gleefully tweeted that's the end of the race, uh, uh, because, you know, you're foreclosing the, and shutting the door on swing voters in Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Your name's going to go down in infamy. We're about to lose. And like you, Seth, Rahm is saying many of us, too, were shaking our heads during the debates. Um, he's saying not even Ted Kennedy supported health care coverage for undocumented immigrants. Uh, so he's saying, why not, not help the 30 million Americans who are just one step away from financial ruin? What was your reaction to all that? Well, listen, I think on this, I, I rarely find myself agreeing with Rahm Emanuel, but I, I think on this one, he's actually right. You know, re Republicans, or uh, should I say Democrats, uh, are, are, are focusing on issues that the, the, the regular everyday American, quite frankly, is not concerning themselves with. Americans have big hearts. We want people to be taken care of. But Trump won because he connected with a non-metropolitan voter and said, we're going to focus on the things that are important to you. And that's why he won in 2016. And as long as the Democrats continue to focus on, again, the same things that are important maybe in uh, maybe Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez's district, uh, then Republicans will do well nationally because Americans care yeah. about other issues. Seth, let's get into what Kaiser is finding. Support plummeting across the board for a single payer, down five percentage points in just four months' time, down 12 percentage points, even among Democrats. Democrats and independents don't want single payer, payer those who strongly favored. Wow, really plummeting. Uh, they're saying, you know, keep Medicare versus single payer, keep employer insurance. Uh, you know, they rate Medicare coverage and employer coverage pretty strong. That's what the majority of Americans are saying. Are the Democrats going to wake up and listen to this? Well, I, I don't think that they are. I mean, it doesn't seem like they are anyway. They keep doubling down on this idea of, of free health care for everybody. But what most Americans realize and what I was taught growing up is there's no such thing as free. And when you tout it as free, somebody has to foot the bill. And in the United States of America, that usually means the middle class, whether that be through taxes, through lost wages or lost jobs. At the end of the day, the middle class, class foots the bill for anything the Democrats want to give away for free. Seth Denson, great to see you. Thank you so much. Good to be with you. We've got its third largest city, South Haven.